Kevin comes to me and he says, darn it, anyway, I'm on my dive trip. And he just got back from a two-week dive trip down in the Caribbean. I'm on my dive trip. I had all my gear serviced perfectly. Third dive, and my safe second starts to hiss. I can hear it. It's hissing. What's going on? I just had a service. Well, <laughs> you know, it may be that the service was not as good as it ought to have been, but there are other factors involved. First of all, let's deal with why it might be hissing. That if you've taken your regulator in for service, the first stage has been completely serviced and it has been set to deliver air at 150, if, if that is the recommended pressure for your brand. We're going to use that number at 150. So air is now coming down these two hoses to the second stage is at 150. Perfectly correct. Now your serviceman will adjust the second stage so that the second stage will deliver air to you immediately upon the diaphragm moving in when you inhale. So it is set right on a knife edge. A little bit of inhalation and you get air. It's called easy breathing. <laughs> the octopus or safe second is exactly the same. It is set so that when you inhale, you get air. However, there's a very minor problem, minor difference. If the safe second and the primary second stage are set exactly the same, if there's any difficulty at all in the regulator or in the dive conditions, they will both start to free flow. Nah. It's not likely that they're both going to start to free flow because no matter how careful the service person is, there's almost bound to be a very, very slight, almost immeasurable difference in the spring pressure. So one or the other will normally start to free flow first. As soon as it starts to free flow, the pressure drops, so the other one won't start to free flow. I hope that's clear. Anyway, here's what should happen. Your primary second stage should be adjusted so it is very, very easy to breathe, as easy as possible. Okay? The safe second should be adjusted so it's easy to breathe, but not quite as easy. It should be almost in measure B, but very slightly harder to activate the valve and start the air flowing. That's the way it should be. If that isn't the way it is, then one or the other of the second stages will start to free flow. If, as in Kevin's case, he jumps in and he finds, or he puts it on, and he finds that the second stage has a slight hiss to it, there's only a couple things that you can do. One, going to sound crazy, stick it in the water and shake it around. Chances are it will stop. If that doesn't work, then you'll have to take it to somebody to have it very slightly adjusted to stop the free flow. If it continues, what it means is that the low pressure seat, a tiny rubber disc, size of a pencil or eraser, in here will have to be replaced. It may be dry, it possibly was missed during service, it may have a groove that's worn in during adjustment, perhaps a serviceman turn the hard valve, I cut a little groove in it, could be a variety of reasons. But everything adjusted properly, there should be no hiss from the second stage, from your safe second, shouldn't be. Anyway, there's some thoughts, share that, read that, listen to that again, and listen through it, and, and go to your service manager at your local dive store, see what he has to say if you have that issue. It could very well be that only Kevin has that problem. He has many, many problems that nobody else in the world has. No. <laughs> anyway, there you go, guys. Some ideas for you. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. Oh, and by the way, I'm here at Aquasub Scuba Diving Center yeah, in Ontario.